We all know a common symptom of COVID-19 is losing your sense of taste or smell, but now, months after being diagnosed with the virus, many people are discovering another symptom that's much more disturbing. Our Bob Siegel shares the strange condition impacting thousands of people and what you can do if it happens to you. Hey Ryan. What's up? How are you? I'm good, Bob. Ryan Witherspoon volunteered to do something kind of crazy. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Absolutely. He agreed to meet me for lunch at the famous Indianapolis City Market. A culinary treasure with just about any type of food you can imagine. This smells awesome to me. But Ryan is smelling something very different. It's just this gross smell that's kind of a mix, like I said, of being gasoline and like putrid food. For Ryan, right now, the only thing worse than the smell of food is the taste of food. The immediate response is, mm, 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 mm. you know, and you want to spit it out. It's sour, it's dirt, it's mixed with gasoline. It's just one flavor that my brain is being told everything tastes like. It's just this overall gross smell and taste that's kind of around me all the time. It means Ryan's favorite foods don't taste anything like they're supposed to. Like an Oreo cookie. I ate an Oreo cookie, and I love Oreo cookies. So I ate one the other day. It was good on the front taste buds. When it hit the back taste buds, it immediately turned into hairspray. An Oreo cookie an tasted Oreo cookie like hairspray. Started great, and then it just it's like somebody sprayed a bunch of hairspray in my mouth. Ryan has a table full of other foods that he's about to taste test and describe for you. But first, we want you to understand exactly what he's dealing with. Ryan is not going crazy. He's suffering from an actual medical condition that's now impacting thousands of people who had COVID-19. For, for whatever reason, this, this particular virus causes smell dysfunction much more commonly than other viruses that we know about. Dr. Justin Turner is director of the Smell and Taste Clinic at Vanderbilt University. He says millions of people who got COVID lost their sense of smell. And of those, somewhere between 10 and 30 percent will face a long recovery that involves their nose retraining itself. And what's essentially happening is the brain is making new connections and trying to remember how to smell again. And in that process, it gets a little bit confused. It's called parosmia, when your brain and olfactory system don't recognize normal odors, so things don't smell how they're supposed to. And because our sense of smell and taste are so closely related, parosmia can badly distort what we taste, a separate medical condition called dysglycia. Both of those can be quite disturbing. These are terms that most people were not familiar with before COVID, and now it's just become... Um, something that I think is affecting such a large uh, portion of the population. You know you have COVID if you lost your taste and smell. Ryan got COVID last summer. He lost his taste and smell for about a month, but then they came back. At first, some things didn't taste quite right, but it wasn't until March, seven months after he got COVID, that things started tasting terrible. The tricky part, Ryan never really knows what's going to taste okay and what's gonna make him feel sick. Food is my life. I love food. I love pizza. I love all these things. The slice of pizza did not taste the way Ryan had hoped because his taste buds did not properly register one of the toppings. Mm -mm. It was the sausage. Mm -mm. That's it. That was the bad one. It's, it looks amazing. I would eat three of those probably and I can't touch it. Ryan's distorted sense of taste mm -mm. also had trouble with that meatball. Can't do that one. And he said the French fries had the same flavor as the meatball and the pizza. The mix between gasoline and stale food that's been in the refrigerator too long, mixed with like a metallic element too. On a positive note, Ryan said pita bread and hummus tasted okay. That's good. He liked the rice and roasted potato. It's good. And that big cheeseburger with lettuce, tomato, pickle, and mayo. I would eat that whole burger. Ryan has started two separate lists to remind himself which foods he can eat and which ones he can't while he's battling these smell and taste disorders. Doctors say that's a good idea because distorted taste and smell can actually be quite dangerous, resulting in severe weight loss, depression, and other problems. I think it affects their, their quality of life significantly. Dr. Alyssa Illing is chief of rhinology, specializing in nasal and sinus disorders at IU Health. 
She says if your taste or smell have been lost or distorted for more than a month, it's probably time to see a doctor for something called olfactory training. Which I think I tell my patients is like physical therapy for the nose to kind of retrain the smell nerves to pick up on those odors, to recreate those uh, nerve connections to the brain, to tell them what they are smelling. This has been good to taste test these things. Ryan knows some COVID patients have endured distorted smell and taste since last summer. If it's going to be six to nine months, I have to figure it out. I can't just say I'm never going to eat certain foods again. In the meantime, he's discovered eating fruits and vegetables usually tastes a lot better than the foods he used to eat. I just eat an apple now instead of reaching for Oreos. I eat a Granny Smith apple. These medical disorders are not necessarily a bad thing, and here's why. Doctors say if you lose your sense of taste and smell for more than a year, that's a bad sign. You might not get them back. However, if you have parosmia or dyscusia, well, that means that your senses are actually starting to wake up and moving toward recovery. Just keep in mind, if you lose taste and smell, things could get worse before they get better. We've got more information on these disorders and treatment right now at WTHR.com.